Hello, hello. Good evening, good evening. Good evening, good evening. Hey, Mama Carlene, glad y'all okay. Miss Brown, hello. Carmen, hello. Faye Mac, hello. Pam, hello. Miss Kiki, hello. We, God did it again. Miss Brown, hello. Hey, Miss Betty, you found me. <laughs> Miss Dolores, hello. Hey, Tina, Miss Rhonda, missionary. Roberts, hey, good evening. Terry, good evening. Miss Renee, good evening. Miss Susan, good evening. <laughs> I see, Miss Baby, I see you awake. <laughs> Tell the girls I say hello. What's up, Jason? Miss Jane, hello. Renee, hello. Miss Thelma Key, good to see you as well. Lene, hello. Miss Queenie, hello. Hey, thank y'all so much for joining me this afternoon for, uh, for this uh, Bible study. We ain't gonna hold you long, but just wanted to jump on real quick. Hey, cousin Joanne, but listen, uh, those, thank you, thank you to those of you that prayed for us here in Mississippi. We, uh, we we were blessed once again. Once again, uh, the weather that we we're supposed to have, uh, we didn't have. Um, uh, but our neighbors in Alabama uh, kind of is catching it, and we're definitely praying for them in Alabama. But we, uh, uh, you know, God God's been so gracious to us. He's all right, bro Wayne. You got that right. Hey, uh, Miss Joanne Robinson, hello. So he did it again. Uh, I've been singing this little song all day and uh, I'm, I'm gonna sing it. Y'all heard me sing it the other Sunday and for some reason it still uh, resonates in, in my heart today. And it just says, I'll say yes, Lord, yes, to your will and to your way. I'll say yes, Lord, yes, I will trust you and obey when your spirit 
speaks to me. With my whole heart, I'll agree. And my answer will be yes, Lord, yes. Can somebody say yes today? I'll say yes, Lord, yes, to your will and to your way. I'll say yes, Lord, yes. I will trust you and obey. When your spirit speaks to me, with my whole heart I'll agree. And my answer will be yes. Lord, yes. One more time. I'll say yes, Lord, yes, to your will and to your way. I'll say yes, Lord, yes. I will trust you and obey. When your spirit speaks to me, with my whole heart I'll agree, and my answer will be yes, Lord, yes. Let's pray. Father, we thank you for this day. Thank you for your many blessings that you've given us. Thank you, Lord, for just loving us in spite of who we are and what we've done. God, we come before you tonight just with thanksgiving in our hearts. And God, we just want to love on you for a moment because, God, you, are, you have been so, so good to us. And God, we just pray tonight, God, that you would uh, just let us down into the depths of your treasure, God, that we may uh, hear a word from you. God, give us wisdom and knowledge, God, that we may understand your word and not only understand it, but apply it to our daily lives. As we always say, God, till the soul of our heart that your word may fall on good soil and bring forth the harvest. Teach us, God, not to just be hearers, but to be doers as well. Thank you for what you've done. And we're excited about what you're going to do. It's in Jesus' name we pray and we thank you. Amen. I'll say yes. Lord, yes, to your will and to your way. I'll say yes, Lord, yes, I will trust you and obey. When your spirit speaks to me, with my whole heart I'll agree. And my answer will be yes, Lord, yes, amen. Again, thank y'all so much for coming in. Hey, Ms. Ruby. Uh, tonight, we're going to look at one of the characters. Well, let me start over. Um, Sunday will be Palm Sunday. And so... Everything that we are doing from here forth is going to lead us to the cross. And so tonight, I want to deal with one of the characters uh, during this crucifixion season uh, by the name of Barabbas. And I'm sure some of y'all are familiar with him. And so uh, the scripture says in Matthew 27 and 26, then released, then released he Barabbas unto them. And when he had scourged Jesus, he delivered him to be crucified. <clears throat> when you think about Barabbas, you think about, uh, you know, this, this man who had, uh, was, he was found guilty of his sin, of his charges. What, whatever he had done, he was found guilty. And here he is facing crucifixion. And the people say, say to them, say to Pilate, give us Barabbas, you take Jesus. 
Now, think, think about this for a second. You know, what, what do you think happened to Barabbas once he realized that um, he had been set free? He had been pardoned of his sin. Th th think about that for a moment. He, him knowing he's guilty and, and he has been pardoned of his sin. The, the Bible even, the Bible doesn't even mention to us what Barabbas did after he was set free. But here's the thing about Barabbas. Uh, uh, he, he, Barabbas was a murderer. He was um, uh, he was a thief. He he was he was a criminal at heart, and and so he he was given he 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 was found guilty of all of the of the charges that he uh, he had committed. Um, and in thinking about Barabbas. To be honest, each one, each of us was once a Barabbas. Now I'm I'm, I'm shifting right here. Uh, e each of us, at some point in our in our lives, we were a Barabbas. We 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 was a slave to sin who was subject to death under the law. We 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 were all Barabbas, but Jesus Christ, in His love towards us, and His grace and his mercy, it, it was the Lord Jesus Christ who took our place. Can you see the exchange here? The, 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 even though they, they released Barabbas and, 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 and kept Jesus, there was an exchange. Bar Barabbas was guilty. Jesus wasn't guilty, but there was an exchange. And so he took, Jesus took our place on the cross and endured the penalty for all of our sins, and 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 here here's a, here's the other thing I, I want us to really grasp about this. Um, Barabbas won the crowd's approval over Jesus. You, you got to see this. The people wanted Barabbas, and not Jesus. Now, now that 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 really resonated with me. The, the people wanted Barabbas and not Jesus. He, here's my point: people will embrace whoever promotes their agenda and their comfort. I just preach, y'all. People will promote whoever who will embrace their agenda and their comfort. That's who they'll promote. So he, no wonder the people wanted Barabbas. Because the people, the people, look at the people. The people were all, all sinful, just like, just like us. And they said, we'd rather have Barabbas than Jesus. So you got to always remember that the crowd chose Barabbas, not because they loved him, I'm preaching y'all, but because they hated the truth. Y'all gotta let that sink in. Y'all gotta let that sink in. Let that sink in. The crowd chose Barabbas, not because they loved him, but because they hated the truth. Jesus Christ was the truth. And true, and true enough, Barabbas was guilty of all charges. But they say, release to us Barabbas, y'all take Jesus. So, so when you look, when you look at this, Barabbas represents, he, he represents all of us. We are, we are considered the chiefest, as Paul say, the chiefest of sinners. We all, the Bible even says, we all have sinned, excuse me, and come short of the glory of God. The Bible says, the wages of sin is death, but the gift of God is eternal life. We are all guilty of sin. We, we, we're all guilty of sin. And, and, and because we're guilty of sin, under the death sentence, it's punishment. Our punishment. It, it, come, it, it goes along with the death sentence. So, so like Barabbas, we deserve death. Here's your shout. 
But Jesus said, I'll die in your place. Oh, y'all missing me. Y'all missing me. Jesus said, I'm willing to die in your place, Renee. I'm, real, I'm willing to die in your place, Joanne. I'm willing to die in your place, Wayne. I'm willing to die in your place, Ruby Hill. I'm willing to die in your place, Missionary Roberts. I'm willing to die in your place, Brownie. I'm willing to die in your place, Christina. I'm willing to die. Y'all ain't talking to me, Miss Thelma Stewart. Jesus said, I'm willing to die in your place, Rhonda Morgan. Listen, he said, I'm willing to, I, I, I know you deserve it, but I, let me do it for you. Let me die in your place. Lord have mercy. He said, I'm willing to die for you. That's that exchange, that's the, that's that exchange that, that took place. He said, I'm willing to go, I'm, I'm willing to die, I'm willing to let you live and, and, and I die in your place. My goodness. My goodness. His death. It, it was through Jesus' death that we that we've been set free. It's, it's through his death we've been set free. Not, not by our own righteousness, because what the Bible says, even at our best, we still what? Filthy rags. We still dirty. But because he died. His blood covers us. So the question tonight is, are you living for self? Or are you living for the one that died for you? Are you living for self? Or are you living for the one that died for you? Are, are, you, are, you, are you grateful that God gave you not another chance, not a, not a second chance, but another chance. Are, are, are you grateful tonight that he, he, gave, he gave you a, a, another chance? Here we are today, storms all around us, but look, he gave us another chance to get it right. Those tornadoes could have came straight through here in Mississippi like they, like they predicted it, but look, what, what did he do? He gave us another chance. And some of us are too mean and, and mad just to even say, Lord, thank you for another chance. So tonight, you got to understand, just, just as Barabbas, he took Barabbas' place. So can, can somebody just, just type it tonight, Lord, thank you for taking my place. Come on, y'all. Let's, let, let's, let's, let's go ahead and shift this Bible study to a praise party. Come on. Lord, thank you for taking my place. Come on, somebody. Come on. Tell, tell God, thank you. Thank you, Lord, for taking my place. Didn't have to do it, but he took, he took my place. He took, he took, he took the pain. Y'all got to get this. He took the pain that I was supposed to experience. He took the pain in my place. He took the pain. So, so why why can't why can't we why can't we be more thankful, more grateful for what he has done for us? Because the reality is that should have been us hanging on the cross. You ought to thank him tonight that he he did an exchange. Watch, watch this. Here, here we go. Here's your shout right here. He took my hard times and turned them into good times. Come on, somebody. He took my failures and turned them into success. He, he took my despairs and turned them into joy. Y'all ain't y'all ain't talking to me here. He 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 took my shortcomings and turned them into long-term goods. Y'all ain't talking to me. The, the, the songwriter said, he's sweet, I know. You, you ought to be able to thank God tonight that he did an exchange. He took my sorrow and gave me comfort. He took my sadness and gave me joy. Come on, somebody. 
He he did it in the even exchange. He he took my he took my pain and gave me purpose. Y'all ain't talking to me on here tonight. That's why grandma and them said it. And, and missionary robbers, you 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 might have heard it. Uh, been, uh, your mama might have done it. Somebody in your family might have done it. They said every day with Jesus is sweeter than the day before. Come on, somebody. He did an exchange when he carried the cross. Watch this. It was a bitter experience, but he took it. That should that that, that was our cross. He he carried. He took he he took the cross toward Calvary. That was a bitter experience. Here he is with getting nails in his hands. That was a bitter experience. When they put him in a borrowed tomb, that was a, a bitter experience. But look, Sunday morning, he got up with power. It, was, it became bittersweet. Y'all ain't talking to me here. Let Jesus sweeten your experience by giving him an exchange. Why you worrying? Let him give you peace. So he he did an an, an an exchange with Barabbas. That should have Barabbas was guilty, but look, the people said, "Give us Barabbas, y'all take Jesus." And I'm so glad. I don't know how y'all feel about it. I'm so glad that they kept they gave they kept Jesus and and let Barabbas go, because Jesus was the only one that could bridge the gap back to God. He's the only one. So tonight, as, we, as we're marching towards the cross, I need y'all to understand, Miss Beverly, get, get, give, get, let, let, let God do an exchange for you tonight. Let, let him do an exchange for you tonight. Don't, let, 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 let God do, do, do what he does. Let him take your bitter situation and turn it into sweet. A sweet, a sweet, uh, sweet sensation, if you will. Let let God do an exchange for you tonight, because the reality the reality is, we all deserve death. But look at Him going to the cross. He gave us an exchange. He give He given us the right to eternal life. So remember tonight that the crowd chose Barabbas, not because they loved him, because they hated the truth. Let God do what he does. Amen, somebody. Let God do what he does. Because guess what? When he got up on, when he got up on Sunday morning, that third day morning, listen, he got up with all power in his hand. So tonight, let, let, let God do what he does. Let, let him do what he does. Some writer said, I know it was the blood that saved me. One day when I was lost, he, what did he do? He died on the cross. It was the blood. The blood made the difference. Listen, the blood took my hatred. I'm doing an exchange again, y'all. The blood took my hatred and turned it into love. Y'all ain't talking to me here. The blood took my disgrace and turned it into honor. Y'all ain't feeling me here. The, the blood took my enemies and turned them into friends. Are y'all hearing me? The blood took my despair and turned it into hope. Are y'all with me? The blood took my worries and turned it into confidence. Lord, have mercy. It was the, it was the blood. What, what could wash away my sin? Some writer said, nothing but the blood of Jesus. What can make me whole again? Nothing but the blood of Jesus. The song writer said, even it reaches to the highest mountain. It flows to the lowest valley. Oh, it's the blood that gives me strength from day to day, and it will never lose its power. Let God do the exchange. I keep saying it. I know I keep saying it. Uh, it and it's not because I didn't study, but it's because we need to let him, let God do what he does. 
Why he, he, what didn't the Bible say? He's Jesus said, cast all your cares upon me. Why? Because I care for you. In other words, let him do what he does. Come on, somebody just type it tonight. Lord, do it. Come on, just type it tonight. Lord, do it. It's the blood that makes the, makes the difference. The songwriter even said, oh, how precious is that flow that makes me whiter than snow. No other fount I know, nothing but the blood of Jesus. Y'all ain't feeling y'all ain't feeling me tonight. It's all good. It's it's all good. My hope is built on nothing less than Jesus' blood and his righteousness. I dare not trust the sweetest frame, but hope and leaning on Jesus' name, on Christ. Do y'all hear me? The solid rock I stand. Why all of the ground is sinking saying, let God do the exchange for you tonight. Lord, do it. Come on, Lord, do it, do it, do it. Do it tonight. Do it tonight. And so as, as we as we look at it, I'm 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 wrapping this thing up. I wasn't gonna keep y'all on here long, but but uh, but but the question comes back again with this second chance that you've been given, this other chance, let me fix that. This other chance that you've been given, all because he took your place. What are you gonna do? What are you doing with this 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 other chance that he's given to you? He took your place. He, he has given you another chance. What are you going to do with it? What are you going to do with it? What are you going to do with this other chance that he's given unto you? Take advantage of it tonight. Take advantage of it tonight. Listen, I'm, I'm, I didn't want to be on here long tonight, but I just wanted to come on and, and, and give you give you all this quick word tonight. Uh, but listen, uh, if there's somebody, God, God has really been pressuring, I ain't going to say pressuring, pressing on my heart to pray. And I prayed Sunday for all the names that was listed in my uh, in my live feed, and all the names that was listed um, uh, on my post. But if you have a prayer request tonight, please you can go ahead and list that uh, in in uh, on the live feed, or you can send me an inbox. Uh, just 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 whatever your prayer request may be. But listen, my prayer for you tonight is that you will let God give you the exchange. Let God do what he does. Life is too short for us to be walking around here worried, stressed, mean, mad, messed up. Let God do an exchange for you tonight. He did an exchange. On, when, he, when Barabbas should have been the one that went to the cross, Jesus went to the cross. Jesus went to the cross. So let God do what he does. Father, thank you tonight for your word. Thank you tonight for the spirit. Thank you for this opportunity just to come on tonight and just to share uh, uh, as we approach this Easter uh, season as we face your uh, talking about your crucifixion and, and, and resurrection, we thank you for what you've done for us. And Lord, tonight we need an exchange. There's some people on here that are going through some, some things in their life and God needs to make an exchange. I ask that you do that for them on tonight. And God, we thank you as always for your spirit and for your word. I pray God that we be encouraged, and that we uh, trust you in this whole process. Help us to remember that every day with you is sweeter than the day before. In Jesus name, amen. Thank y'all so much. Thank y'all so much. I got you mama calling in, I got you. Uh, but thank y'all so much for jumping in real quick with me. And uh, I, uh, I pray y'all blessings upon me. 
upon, I pray God's blessings upon you. Let me get that right. And, uh, and we're, again, we thank God again for keeping us today. And uh, we ask God to, to continue to wrap his arms around the people uh, in Alabama. God is, it, those of you that pray, that, that, that believe in prayer, y'all pray, join with me and pray for the people in Alabama. Uh, I know as of this afternoon, there were five people that had lost their lives and homes damaged and, oh my goodness. And when I think about it, it could have been us. It could have been us. But look, I love y'all. Thank y'all so much for jumping in. Uh, remember, wear your mask, practice social distancing, watch your crowds. If you hadn't got your vaccine, get your vaccine. All right? I love y'all. And until we meet again, may the peace of God be upon you. Amen. So prayer request, don't forget to drop it in there. Love you, Miss Beverly. You, you're welcome. <laughs> See y'all later.